So I'm replacing my Scott Speedy Green 3000. As you can tell, it has a lot of use on it. still kind of works. I'll probably keep this around to spread salt. Only reason I'm not getting another Scots is uh, I don't think they're just built that well. The original marketing says it doesn't rust but obviously you can see here there's a lot of rust. I'm not the original owner but this was stored in the shed. So I don't know how that happened. Maybe he was spreading some salt. And, but even then, there's corrosion everywhere. But anyways, I didn't really, I was looking at the Elite and I'm sure it's fine, but it has two rotating assemblies and there's more potential for failure. So I looked into the Echo RB60. This thing was originally $99, right now it's 130. I was able to get a little bit of a discount. If possible, I would try to get it for 99. This is exactly the way it came out of the box. If my hunch is correct, this should be one of the easiest installs I've ever seen. Looks like you just gotta attach a handle and it looks like you're ready to start working. Here at the bottom of the hopper is that conversion to Scott Spreader settings. The one that people say is hidden. I'll just take a screenshot of that on your phone for easy future reference. The tubing is definitely thicker than the Scots, but of course that was made a long time ago. I'm sure, um, that's just over time, you know, things have gotten a little bit more beefy. Only one of the wheels drives the spreader. This is called the spreader on the old one. Both wheels would move it. So I don't know if it was purposely done like that or what, but let's just put it together and see how it goes. I usually put Loctite on these kind of things, but it looks like for this kind of material, I don't have to. Looks like some nice attention to detail there. This is not necessary, but anytime you have metal to metal contact, I'll just spray a little bit of grease or lube once the paint flakes off, that's when things start rusting over time. Again, it's optional, but that, I just like to do that. You can't see that. It says 4 PSI. It needs 15. So I'm just going to add some air to it. If you're upgrading from an older Scots model with like these plastic tires, the first thing you'll notice is how much nicer these, these air-filled tires are. It has a tube in there. And it just goes so much easier. You can see that little um, in the hopper. This thing, I don't know what it's called, but it doesn't work as well. There's too much of a flat area there, so I might have to do some mods with zip ties or uh, something else. A common complaint that people have online. Here, you kind of have that problem too. I mean, that square rectangle part of the bottom, things, once it gets to below a certain point, things just kind of hang there. So usually I just have to kind of wiggle, wiggle this thing left and right. So some people, some people have been doing that as well. I'm not going to compare the size because obviously this one is much newer, but in terms of build quality, I mean, the spring has some nice feedback to it. Yeah, this stuff I feel like is gonna break. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of plastic, but I'm not. I'm not probably. I'm not really planning to use this either. You see, there's some flex in here. Oh man, it's gonna be really hard to push. I have to put some grease here too. Oh, I get the. Pull down. Okay, that's why. So keep that in mind. You have to pull that down. 
is to keep it locked. Okay, my fault. And here's the chart. Yeah, apparently this thing's supposed to have a pretty wide spread, so maybe one day I'll test that out. Yeah, I think that's the edge guard. But yeah, I really like the tires. At 15 PS, at 15 PSI, it definitely has some good feel to it. And uh, there's a lot of tree branches where I live, uneven terrain, so I, I'm really looking forward to using this. I'm not going to get rid of this one, plus no one wants it. If there's any comparisons you want to see, let me know. And hope this helps.